Zambia, the way we celebrate, we do. Wayu, 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 wayu. I want to thank you, the leadership of Hillside Church, just to accept me this morning, just to stand and minister the word of God. Celebrate yourself, leaders. You are powerful, international leaders. I love the way you do protocol. I love the way you do everything. I'm so impressed. I'm going to improve as well. <laughs> Hallelujah. We learn. Tell your neighbor we learn from each other. Is it learn? Yeah. Church. Learn. I'm learning a lot. <laughs> Personal. Hey, Jesus. I love you with the love of Christ. Can you see my love? <laughs> I'm contagious with love. Wherever I go, it's a must. I should love you, must love me. Because the Bible says in the last day, God will pour out his spirit. And God is love. So his spirit is love. So wherever you go, you must love. The Bible says before he did anything, he was moved. Before you heal, you must be moved. Before I prophesy to you, I must be moved by the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Um, I want to sing a song. I don't know if it is, it is found from my album so that I sample it. <laughs>
the Bible says it's by the stripes of Jesus that we were, we were healed 2,000 years ago. Therefore, claim for your healing. Claim for your inheritance in the name of Jesus because God fights your battles. Tell your neighbor, God, fight your battles. Even this morning, God will fight our battles. Amen. I declare this morning, God will fight our battles. I declare this morning that your God and my God will fight our battles in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I want us to worship God. Just rise to your feet as we sing in the song that God dropped into my spirit. situation that 
you are going through. Tell him you are my healer. Tell him you are my deliverer. Tell him you are my hope. You are my salvation. You are my healer. You are my savior. You are my deliverer. In you I live. In you I move. In you I have my being. Lift those hands. 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 I want you to remember how God healed you and give him the glory. I remember when mama was saying about the, the topic pregnancy where they removed the tube and the doctor said you'll never have children in your life. I remember going to God hopeless, lifeless and I told God, Lord remember remember and that's where my anchor preaching tonight this morning is rather this afternoon that's why I'm singing this song to remind you of what God has made you pass through and you are victorious he did it that you may always remember it's a scar that you never forget it's a scar it is a scar that made you to be a star you are you are shining today because of that scar i'm preaching today because of that scar the one you healed the one you delivered the one you saved has come to worship you I want you to sing without the praise team. Savior. I call you my Savior. The one you saved has come. with your heart now. You are my Savior. Oh, I call you Savior. The one you saved.
Zamanda Labasia. I want to feel his praises. He's here. You are here. My God, my Savior, my Deliverer, you are here to speak to me. You are here to speak to your people that you love, the people that you died for, the people that you redeemed, the people that you have set apart at a time like this. A season that you are shifting, a season that you are lifting, a season that you are separating. You are here. Oh my God, oh my God, you are here. Touching every life. I worship you. I worship you. You, you are here. This is your change. 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 I'm seeing God changing seasons. I'm seeing Jesus taking us to a higher dimension of worship. He's changing our worship. Forget about your neighbor now. Forget about what you're going through. He's here. He's here. Palia Saida Masia. My son, I saw you changing realms in worship. You'll be very prophetic in the way that you do your ministration. That God will begin to use you to change and shift dimensions in the realm of the spirit. Wherever you go, you carry atmosphere. You carry atmosphere. That's why you want to push them to feel the way you are feeling. It's because of who you are. Wherever you appear, God's presence appears. And he wants to introduce what you are seeing to them. That's who you are. Elamande de Basia. Kedebo Sayanta. Elamande de Baha. Forget that you are in the service. Forget. I'll put you in front. In front of my melody. You rule. You rule. You rule. You rule. You rule the matters. Hey. You rule. The matter, I'll make room for two. You are the Jesus, you are all the matter. You are all the
matters to me. Nothing matters in your presence except your presence. Except your presence. I'm seeing God touching you wherever you are. Fire coming over you. Now in the name of Jesus. Ah, there is more, there is more. There is more that God wants to pour upon your spirit this morning. Oh, Shaya, see a man, Telemanda. Connect to him this morning. He wants it all, he wants it all. He wants it all. I'm so in love with you. I'm so in love with you. Just tell him I'm so in love with you this morning. for what you have done in our lives it cannot be enough it cannot be enough <speaking in Spanish> Celebrate Jesus. You can do better, you can do better, you can do better. Glory to God. Celebrate the powerful praise team. I've been a worship leader for more than 25 years. So I love the praise team. I know they carry 
grace. If you want to see how powerful the church is, look at the praise team. If you want to see how powerful the church is, look at the intercessors. If you want to see how powerful the church is, look at the financiers. These three things make church. You can't separate this. It's the pillar of church. Hallelujah. Unashikia. Praise the Lord. You can kindly take your seats. This afternoon, our theme for this Sunday is uncommon blessing. Tell your neighbor, uncommon blessing. And God told me to speak about what attracts those uncommon blessing. What attracts that uncommon blessing that we are talking about. Because God has spoken to me that in this season, he's raising churches, churches. He's raising them because there's a movement of the Holy Spirit. We are preparing the coming of our Lord Jesus. So there's a movement that God is setting pass in every church. Bible-believing churches. There is a, a set standard that God is raising. Through finances, through worship, through evangelism, these three things, there is a mighty move. Evangelism, worship, and finances. Because he knows that for you to move, you need these three. Finances are the engine. Hallelujah. Yeah. So I'll touch one area last Wednesday. I was talking about the season that we are in, that it is your time that you must realize that even the birds of the air notice their time to fly, to migrate. They are able to sense this is the time that God wants me to move. Even you as an individual, God wants you to realize that it's a set time for you to become who God wants you to become. It is a set time for you. Tell your neighbor, it is a set time for you. Tell your neighbor, it is a set time for you. Hallelujah. This, this afternoon, I want to share what will make you attract and common blessing. Next time I'll come, I'll talk about four types of blessing. So that when you begin to talk about the blessing, we don't just say, I call for the blessing. I call for the blessing. No. There are specific blessings. The Baraka blessing. Then there's a blessing that when you obey in paying your tithes and your offerings and your seed, and there are different kinds of offerings. There's sin offering, there's thanksgiving, there are different kinds of offerings that we must begin to learn as a church. Unasikia, for you to attract and common blessing. So this, this afternoon, I want to talk about one thing that will help us. And that is my spiritual account. Tell your neighbor, my spiritual account. Each one of us, we know in the physical, we have accounts. Not so. I've heard there's Mupesa here. There's FNB. There's Indo Bank. I don't know if you have. Do you have that Indo Bank? You only have FNB? Even if. Oh my God. We are behind in Zambia. What do you have here, banks? What banks do you have here? KCB? KCB. Oh, KCB. Absa, yeah, Absa we have in Zambia. Yeah. So for, the Bible says, to everything there is time. To everything there is time.
there is time. So meaning there is time to sow, there is a time to reap. There is a time to plant, there is time to harvest. So God was speaking to my spirit, tell my people that their spiritual account must be monitored for them to move in an uncommon blessing. The more you deposit money in your physical account, the more you demand to withdraw. I remember one time I, I had a problem at home and I needed finances. I went to an ATM bank and wanted to withdraw and there was zero balance. I know you Kenyans, you are rich. Sometimes you don't have zero balance. But in Zambia, we do. Depending on how much you have been banking, even in the same way, depending how much you have been banking in the spiritual account, that's what you are able to attract. Unasikia, you can't withdraw what you haven't been banking. So this, this is what I'm talking about this afternoon. Though I'm very fast, I'm a fast speaker, according to me, Zambian. <laughs> yeah, amen. So shall we turn our books into Philippians chapter 4 and verses 17? If you are writing, write. In case I cruise. Isaiah 38, verse 1 and 5. Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 3. So we'll begin with Philippians. Philippians 4, 17. Paul here was saying, Not that I seek the gift. Not that I seek the gift, but I seek the fruit that abounds to your accounts. Una sikia. We can read together. One, two, three, go. Something that can be added to your accounts. So Paul here was saying to the church, that I am looking, I am seeking, that something can be added into your spiritual account. Meaning there is a spiritual account. Tell your neighbor there is a spiritual account. If there is a physical account, then there is a spiritual account. So Paul, he, Paul here was saying, I am looking, I am desiring to that which can be credited into your spiritual account. Where there are no thieves. Where there is no plan of the enemy like the, what do you call these scandalers? Those who steal from the internet. They lie to you from the Mpesa. The hackers. In spiritual account, there are no hackers. So Paul was saying, much more I desire to that which can be credited to your spiritual account. Now ask yourself, from the time that I was born, what has been credited into my account? From the time I knew Jesus, what have I been depositing? Ask your neighbor. What have you been depositing? Isaiah 38, 1 to 5. Isaiah 38. The Bible reads, In those days, Hezekiah was sick and near to death. They are seasons of attacks. They are seasons of affliction. I was praying for one girl in my, in my church who have received about six students. I was just testifying to her. She, she was complaining to me, Mommy, every time I read, I forget what I'm reading. And we are about to write the exams. I said, ah, start depositing in your spiritual account. So that the enemy will not touch your mind. Because you have the mind of Christ. Una 
Unasikia if you are a student here. You can seal your mind with the seed. Seal your mind. I have the mind of Christ. So there are situations in life that this king, Hezekiah, found himself in. He was a good man. He was a giver. Yet, he fell sick, near to death. And desire the prophet, Gladys the prophetess, appeared in Kenya, went to him and said, Thus saith the Lord, if I came to you and told you, hey, I see this, you will tell me I'm a fake prophet. Only good news, huh? We love good news. Thus saith the Lord, set your house in order, for you shall die and not live. You would have said, Tufiakwa. Then the Bible says, Then Ezekiah turned his first towards the wall. Meaning it was between him and God. He declared, It is you and I. That's why I sang, I'll put you in front. There are situations where, have you been in hospital where they are tired of visiting you? They said, we'll come tomorrow. Don't worry. God is with you. You are left to face the wall. It is a dark moment. It is a dark situation where you are faced one on one with God. That's where this king, he had everything. He was a giver. He was a good man, according to the word. But a time came. In the physical, we, we do bank for what reason? So that when we have a need, we can withdraw. Same applies in the spiritual realm. There will be one time that you need these prayers that you are investing now. There will be a time that you need God to answer you. That testimony I was giving you of barrenness where the doctor said you'll never have children. I had to face a wall and tell God, Father, I've been singing in that church for 15 years. Every day I stand. On Sunday, I stand, I sing. Even if people don't like me, I just sing. Even if he what, I do, I just sing. That's an investment I'm doing in the house of God. I'm depositing in my spiritual account. I remember one time I was shouted by my bishop, not the very one in Lusaka, by the one we were saving under with my husband for 15 years. Shouted on Saturday. And then Sunday I was leading worship. And she said, don't look at me when you are even leading worship. I remember that Sunday. I was shaking. I don't know if it's the anointing or it was fear. It, it got mixed up. <laughs> the anointing and fear. Because they were seated like that. And they said, don't even look at me or my husband. Then I'm like, where do I look now? So I was like, anointing. Fall on me. I had to sing anyway, but it was not easy. But I told God I'm depositing into my spiritual account. It doesn't matter whether the man of God or the woman of God does not recognize. But God, but God, but God in heaven has recognized it. So when I was told by the doctor you'll never have children, we have removed the tubes. I had to go back and face my fears and say, God remember. God remember. God remember. There is a season that you go through in life that you need to tell God I have been an usher in Hillside. I have been a praiser in Hillside. I have been attending overnight in Hillside. Lord, come through for me. Lord, invade in my privacy. Hallelujah. I told God, I've been a worshiper. Save my soul. Even if you give me a lame child, I will appreciate. But prove to the devil that is a liar. 
remember the services and on that Sunday the following Sunday after the big operation I was like pregnant but it was just the operation it was very big I don't know it was a big scar that Sunday I, I, I preached about Deborah and God said you are not speaking about her you are actually reminding God that he should come through hey it never took a lot of years I was pregnant. God is just looking for you to remind him. But if you have zero balance, is it zero? Zero? Zero balance. There's nothing to withdraw. He will send angels go and check in Maria's account, in Pastor Lucy's account, in Deborah's account. Put your name there. In Gladys's account. What is your name? Yeah. Put your name there in an account. You have a heavenly account. The Bible says when you praise God, his presence comes down. But when you intercede, he sends angels. Meaning there is a time that God will send angels to check your spiritual account. To see how much you have been depositing. I came to declare that after this service you begin depositing. Hallelujah. Unasikia. After this service, God is challenging you. Begin to deposit something in the spiritual realm. Because there will be a time that you need those things. And he said, remember now, O oh Lord, I pray. Remember now, O oh Lord, what I've been doing, what I've been depositing, remember it now. There is a place of now. When you are faced with a situation, that is a now. That you need the intervention of God. You might say, no, I'm still young. I'm still at school. You need God now. You need God to intervene in your future. So begin depositing now how your future will be. I remember I was 15 years. And I was busy investing in my prayer life. From two. Busy. Praying. Praying and crying to God. I never knew I would get married to an apostle. It was an investment. It was an investment. Don't grow up and become 30, 35. That's when you begin to pray. Father, give me a husband. Invest now. When you have time, invest. So, cry. If me, I pray for my children. I don't want them to marry, marry. I want them to marry when they marry, they marry well. So I pray for them. I sow seeds for them. So that whatever demon that will appear to them in college, he will say, no, this is not my kind. Why we are allowing children to be in problems is because we don't know that it's very important to deposit something in the spiritual account that will speak for your children. I remember there is a king that said, I don't know, in, in the Bible, the story, he had to sow a seed for his children in case my children are sinning. That spiritual account, I pray that after this service, your eyes of your spirit will be enlightened, that you begin to deposit in your spiritual account. Hallelujah. Don't wait for the trouble. Don't wait for that time. Time is now. Tell your neighbor, it is now to sow. Hallelujah. How I have walked with you in truth. How I have walked with you. How I have served you. Hallelujah. In truth. With a loyal heart. Tell your neighbor, God counts your heart. God sees your attitude 
when you are told to pray, what is your condition of your heart? What is your attitude? He's searching. If it's not right, you kick it off. He won't deposit it in your account. There are many times that we have sung to please man. And it's not credited into our accounts. That's why the Bible says at the last day, God will tell you, depart from me, you iniquity doers. And we'll ask him how. It's because the way we were doing, we were doing it for ourselves, not for him who sent us. Be conscious when you're depositing something into the spiritual account. You must know that God is watching your heart. What is your intention? What is your motive? Why you are serving God? Is it hospitality? Why are you serving? God is watching. Tell your neighbor, God is watching. He prayed, I've been loyal and I've been serving to God with all my heart and I've done what is good in your sight. I pray that you begin doing what is right in God's sight. I pray that you may begin to hear the voice of God and begin to deposit something right in your spiritual account. Because the Bible says, whatever a man sows, he shall reap. Hallelujah. So keep on sowing good. Tell your neighbor, keep on sowing good. I want to talk about three things that you can deposit. One, prayer. Tell your neighbor prayer. Give prayer support. If there's anything that you can do as a believer is to pray. Tell your neighbor pray. What do you say prayer in what? Maomi, yeah. Maomi, Maobi, eh, hey, Chayata, Maobi, Maombi, Maombi. Ah, unaskie. <laughs> yeah, the most important thing that you can sow in the spiritual account is prayer. Tell your neighbor prayer, prayer, prayer. That's the thing that you can sow in the house of God. If there's a man to pray, then there's a God to answer. There's a man to pray, there's a God to answer. So when we look at the man and the women who used to pray, we look at Elijah. The Bible says he prayed until. He prayed until. He prayed until, even Jesus, the son of God, prayed until his sweat was like that of blood. How long do you pray? How much are you investing in prayer? Check yourself. How much you are investing in prayer? The Bible says Elijah prayed. He had to put he put himself in, a, in an awkward position where he, he put his, his head under his thighs. Who does that? Who prays like that? Kenyans? Maybe Zambians? Maybe Congolese? Who prays like that? Meaning it was very uncomfortable to pray. It is not easy to pray, yet God has commanded you to pray. If you want to see God in your life, be a prayer warrior. If you want to see God move in your life, be a prayer warrior. Pray until there's a breakthrough. Pray until you see a sign. Pray until you see a miracle. Pray until you see change in your family. It's my prayer that you begin to deposit in your spiritual account. 
prayer. Prayer. You never grow weary nor tired until your account is full. There are rewards in being faithful in prayer. There are rewards in being faithful in prayer. If you want to see God in your life, be a prayer machine. Not just a machine that makes chapati. They even know you, hey, there they make nice chapati. Be a prayer warrior where they are able to notice there there is a woman that always pray around zero four, around zero three, around zero two. Then you are depositing into your spiritual account. I remember my mother was a prayer warrior. She is up to now that it's only that she's aging. Every time she would cry on the altar. And I used to wonder when we were young, we used to go out with Ephraim and my other brothers. We used to go out. Ah, my mother always loves crying in church. What's wrong with her? Is she missing South Africa, the brothers, or what? She always cries. She embarrasses us. You know when you're young, you talk anything. Little did I know that she was releasing a prophetic worship in the children. She was so in tears that she would reap joy. Now my mother is celebrating because each one of us, we are powerful worshippers. We are all having churches. Four of us at least. Two are remaining. And I pray they will catch the fires as well. Four of us. My sister, she's pastoring a church in Kitu. Ephraim is pastoring a church in Lusak. Me, I'm pastoring a church in Lusak. My other brother is pastoring in Methodist church. Why? Because my mother had to sow. She had to sow in tears and she had to reap in joy. I pray for you as a mother, as a father, that you begin to sow seed in the spiritual account. That you begin to sow seed in due season so that your children will reap. So that you will also reap when the time is ripe. Because the Bible says there is a time for everything. So, so prayer, tell your neighbor, so prayer. How long do you pray? I remember one time I was praying, kneeling before God. And I thought I've prayed enough. It was one hour. And I'm like, I have prayed today. Immediately I wanted to stand up. The Holy Spirit said, it is not enough. Kneel down. Another one hour. I said, hey, I'm fat, oh. I'm very fat. I can't kneel for more than that. I started feeling these knees like I'm losing them. The Holy Spirit, I want you to push more. I had to kneel for three hours. Three hours. Tell your neighbor, three hours. Kneeling down with my weight. It was not easy. That's what the Bible says, dying to yourself. To your emotions, to your feelings. You haven't prayed until you stop saying words. If you go every time in the presence of God, you talk, you talk, you talk, you talk. You haven't prayed. There are dimensions in prayer where you enter and words are failing to express themselves. That's a level where God wants to take you. A place when you enter in prayer, you go manta, janta, ika, pa, ka, pa, ianto, kupa. And then there's a moment where you say, uh, uh, uh. And your neighbors can't hear only the Father in heaven who knows the depth that you have entered into. You have not prayed enough. Tell your neighbor, you have not prayed enough. Hallelujah. Keep on doing good. Keep on sowing. Keep on praying until you see a sign. You can only become an authority when you are a man and a woman of prayer. When you have a hundred million shilling in your account, you carry a voice. Whether you like it or not, you carry a voice. 
Because the nation will begin to say, what, what, what does they do? What does he do? What does she do? I, I hope I mentioned the highest, I don't know, shillings. Yeah. But billions, maybe. Yeah. You have a thought, you have a voice because your account is full. Why we are not seeing power? Why we are not drawing attention? It's because our account is empty. Why we are not seeing miracles as an intercessor, as an usher? Because when you stand there on the door as an usher, demons should know that Maria today is ushering. They must know that they know that a woman of prayer is standing by the door. Therefore, no trespass of any demon in church. As a priest team, as you are leading, you must know that you are a prayer warrior. You have invested in prayer. So when you stand and you open your mouth, the realms of the spirit begins to hear your voice because you are an authority in the realm of the spirit. I came to charge you in the name of the Lord. Begin to deposit prayer into your spiritual life. Unasikia. Begin to depo deposit prayer. Prayer. Let them know that you are a woman of prayer. Not a gossiper. Not wasting people's time. Invest in prayer. Because there's a season and a time when you need a miracle. Maybe your grandchild will start walking like this. Then you need a miracle from heaven. What are you going to withdraw? There's a time and a season where you need to withdraw what you have prayed for. Elijah had to withdraw rain. What are you withdrawing in your family? In your season, what are you withdrawing? Ask your neighbor, what are you withdrawing? Me, I refuse to be a singer who sings and they clap. I said when I'm singing, realms should change. Angels should join my singing. I'm very important. Yes. Know who you are. That you are very important. Heaven can engage with you as you are singing. God can say, hey, shh, Gladys is singing. Hold on, hold on, I want to hear her. And the whole heaven can back you up. But it can only be done when you are a man and a woman of prayer. Because our God is a holy God. When you begin to invest in prayer, you begin co to communion with God daily. You begin to look like God. You begin to talk like God. You begin to appear with so much glory. That's why you see those that pray more, they know they don't grow old very fast. Because our God never grows old. So you begin to share in the divine grace of God. Ask your neighbor, Unasikia, Invest in prayer. Hallelujah. Number one, number one, num the other one is Anna. We know what happens to Anna, not so. How many knows the story of Anna? Yeah. Anna prayed until. So it's my challenge to you to pray until you see a miracle. The second is supporting the ministry by your gifts. Tell your neighbor by your gifts. Invest by your gifts. Invest by your gifts. Your gift will make room for you and usher you in the presence of the great. Invest in your gifts. This is your training ground for you. The way you are singing the way you are playing skillfully, heaven is recording and putting points in your account. One day, the king will call for you to sing 
in the presence of the great. So invest in your gift. If you are a baker and you are in the hospitality, bake the best. Don't just bake chapati anyhow, bake the best. So that they know that there is a touch of a Maria here. There is a touch of a Jen here. Invest in your gift. Whatever you do, do it skillfully. God is interested in your skill. Don't think God just uses anything and anyhow. He wants you to be skillful. Even in your preaching, even in your dancing, even everything. You remember that girl who danced until the king asked her, what can I do for you? Do you know that she was not jesting anyhow? Yeah? She's going left as if she's going right. She was skillful in her dancing. So you were dancing. Be skillful. Improve. Go yonder then God will begin to release his glory over you and people begin to see that this child can do something for the nation. Be skillful in whatever you are doing. When you are ushering, don't just usher. Welcome, welcome. You will usher a president, you don't know that this is a president's wife. But the way you welcome them, welcome. You give them a holy smile that they'll never ever forget. If I see a smile that I'll never forget, even when I'm sleeping, I'm remembering, then that smile is anointed. You have worked on it. Do something that is unique. Do something that is unique. Let people know that you are here. You are investing in your spiritual account. David was a man after God's own heart. Because he was skillful. He was skillful. When he's playing, he played with his heart. Such that even demons were able to shudder when he's ministering. After this service, I pray that you'll be skillful in whatever you are doing. At the place of work, may people remember you. Don't just be nice, nice in church and at the place of work, you are a lioness. Be the same at the place of work, even in the house of God. If you don't go for work late, don't come late to church. Go early. The way you do your, your earthly duties, if you put God first and you honor him, you as well do the, the same when they say 9, you are here 8.50. Some of you are early in your offices. No, I'm, I'm putting things in order so that when the boss comes. But what about your heavenly father? What are you depositing? Invest in excellency. This church is an international. Develop the spirit of excellence. Our God is a God of excellence. Even in the way you walk, walk that people remember. Hey, me, I, I remember I met my husband because of my walk. Mama, I used to walk. <laughs> Women, <laughs> there are so many things that attract men, no? Oh. Eh? Just the walk. My mother taught me a catwalk because she was, she was a ballroom dancer. So she said, I don't want my children to be walking like men. They are going like this. They are coming back. Yeah. So they, they had to teach us walk. Catwalk. It's only that I'm fat now. Eh? But at least you are able to see it. <laughs> yeah. So I was coming from praise rehearsals. Tired but walking like a queen. Then my husband saw this is a, a kind of a, a queen I need. And I was chosen like Esther. Excellency. Excellence. Tell your neighbor, excellency. Even in the way you write at, at school. Write nicely, not like it's as if they are forcing you to write. Me, if I'm the man.
back, I'll just look at the handwriting and say, this one has failed already. Even if I don't read. Be excellent. Let there be a, a special grace of excellence in whatever you are doing. Our God is a God of excellence. Amen. It will open heavens for you. And common blessings will begin to attract over your life. Imagine if, if I, I took myself very careless. I think I wasn't going to meet these classy people. I made sure I chose the best clothes there. I'm meeting the githinges. Huh? Even the way you present yourself, don't talk too much. You go in the presence of the great, you keep quiet. You, they ask you answer. That's wisdom. If you talk too much, they'll say, eh, this one, nah. Nah. So many people have missed opportunities because of the way they take themselves. You have missed a husband because you talk too much. You want to express everything at one debt. One debt, one. You say, my father, my children, you, mi you miss even, you say, my children instead of my brothers and my sister because you talk too much. And you say, hey, what more when I marry her? Hey, she'll be a problem. The way you present yourself matters. The way you eat, not mix chapati and what and you. Say, hey, when I bring her into my home, she'll be a three times. Watch what you do. Be skillful. God is interested in your skill. He said, look at my son Job. Look. If God can say, look, meaning he's particular with what you do and how you do it. Don't do things anyhow. Even in the way you're doing camera, camera here. Do me well. I might call you in Zambia. <laughs> Clap for the man of God. He's doing great. <laughs> Hallelujah. Acts chapter 9 verse 36 to 40. Acts 9, 36 to 40. I'm cruising. Then number three, give financial support. Acts chapter 10, verse 1 to 5. Acts chapter 9, you can write those scriptures. Acts chapter 9, verse 36. Acts chapter 9 verse 36. At Sopa there was a certain Are we here? You can remove that for me. The seconds. Ask your neighbor, is it showing there? So, but there was a certain disciple named Tabitha, which is translated Dorcas. Thank you so much. Clap for them. This woman was full of good works. Tell your neighbor, good works. Good works will save you. Good works will save you. This woman was full of good works and charitable. As a woman, you have to be charitable. Your mother here is very charitable. I would have gone back a long time. But she has a heart of a mother. As a woman, be charitable. Don't count food. Me here, I'm eating too much. I'm even wondering what am I going to do when I go home. Be a woman who is charitable. God is
is looking at your giving as well. I know we already know this story, but I want to emphasize. This woman was full of good works and charitable deeds, which she did. But it happened in those days. Tell, tell your neighbor there are those days. That she became sick and died. When they had washed her, they laid her into the upper room. And since Lida was near Joppa and the disciples had heard that Peter was there, they said to men, to him, employing him not to delay in coming to them. Then Peter arose and went with them. Okay, to cut the story short, we know about the life of Dorcas, not so. Yeah, so the Bible says Dorcas invested in charitable goods, deeds. Be a man and a woman who's charitable. Don't be stingy. Be a giver. The Bible says plant at all seasons, in every ground. You don't know which one will germinate. Don't be counting. You send your wife, you count. Be a generous giver. Unasikia. God wants us to be charitable. Even in church. Tell your neighbor, even in church. We must be generous. If we want to deposit into our spiritual accounts, we must be givers. Tell your neighbor, be a giver. If you want to see heaven open for your life, be a giver. Look at the Shunammite woman. She received a miracle of a child. Why? Because she was a giver. God is raising a church that gives. Where a church gives, the anointing moves. You can't just say hallelujah, hallelujah and when it comes to giving or not giving God does not move. God can never be deceived. Where your heart is, that's where your treasures are. It is my prayer and my declaration that after this service, your kind of giving will change. Your giving will change. I know amens are not enough. I understand. But if you want to deposit in the spiritual account so that you see uncommon blessing, be a giver. Tell your neighbor, be a giver whether you like it or not. God is speaking. The way he moves in worship, that's the same way he moves in giving. There are moments that God just say give and healing takes place. There are moments that you just give and miracles happen. Do you see when you are spoiling a woman, you take her out? Immediately she starts falling in love with you. Immediately you don't need, just take her out. If they are saying no, because you don't take them out. You are stingy, you are calculating even before you spoil them. If you spoil them, they will open up their hearts. Even God wants us to be givers. You can't say, I love you, Jesus, yet you do not give him. What kind of love is love without giving? Giving is love. Love is giving. So if you want to be a powerful man and a woman of God that God is using in this generation, be a giver. How many will change to be givers? How many will change to be prayer, prayer warriors? How many will begin being skillful in whatever they are doing in the mighty name of Jesus? Rise to your feet as I read one scripture. In conclusion. I end here because I don't want you to say, hey, this Zambian talks too much. Ecclesiastes 11.3 Ecclesiastes 11.3 if the clouds are full, tell your neighbor, full, they will empty themselves. If the clouds are full, if your account is full, it will begin to empty itself.
it will empty themselves upon the earth. And if a tree falls to the south or the north, in the same place where the tree falls, there it shall lie. Meaning the blessings of God are permanent. It shall lie. Meaning the blessings of the Lord are permanent. I came to declare that the blessings of the Lord shall be permanent in your life. If the, the clouds are full, they begin to empty themselves. No sacrifice, no rain. No sacrifice, no rain. No sacrifice, no rain. Play even the keyboard so that the anointing of giving will begin to flow. Am I preaching well? If there's any message God is sending in this season, is the message of giving. It is a message of worship. It is a message of evangelism. These three things, if they are missing in your life, you need to repent again and again. These are last days. So God is searching your heart. You can't give without your heart. You can't. Even me giving a dress or anything, it's because I'm connected with such a person. It's my prayer and it's my declaration that may God touch your heart. May God touch your heart in this season. That you begin to pray like never before. That you begin to be skillful in your gifts. We want to see givers in the house of God. Use your skill at the place of work and beautify the house of God. If you are a builder, build the house of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Unasikia. Lift up your hands as I pray for you. Kalabasia mandiliba. Yandoja kabasia badaya. When the clouds are full, they empty themselves. Oh. to fall on me open the floodgates in abundance and cause your rain to fall on me God showed me when I was preaching. Just come, Mama. Just come. That it is a season that God is changing your level of prayer. Because he wants to use you in this season. I saw the anointing of God coming upon you in power. In power. In power. Every prayer will be answered in this season because of your prayer. God is changing your dimension. The way you were praying, there's a level of dimension of fire. Because you are dealing with iniquities of your family. So it has to take you deeper in the deep, deeper in the realm of the spirit for you to uproot and cancel. There's so much warfare in your family. Yes. And you are sent there as, the, as an ego to see in the realm of the spirit. So that you begin to cancel. Father, in the name of Jesus. Anointing, Aladia Sire, fall on me. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me. Catabasia Mandelibada, 
Shalamande de Yasa. Anointing, anointing. Increase our fire. Increase our fire. Increase our fire. Increase our fire. In the name of Jesus. Anointing fall on me. Touch my hand. There's a breakthrough coming in your hands now. Touch my hands. In the name of Jesus. Any power that has fought progress in our life. I stand as a prophet of God. And begin to declare freedom. 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 God is, is speaking to me that there is a heart of giving over you. Yes, but it has been fought. You always want to give, but you find sometimes you are not having. You have been fought. From today, we break every power that fights your breakthrough in the name of Jesus. If you are connected, just lift your hands. If there's battle over your finances, there's an anointing breaking every chain of poverty. You feel like every time you want to give more, but you are not having more. There's something, there are principalities that fight your breakthroughs. After this service, every power is broken. Every power is broken. Every power of limitation is broken. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain, 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 to break every chain. Father, I declare by the anointing of this house. That every power of poverty is broken over your people in the name of Jesus. God is speaking to that lady in black that you are a woman of faith. You are a woman of faith. And God wants to raise your antennas of understanding in the realm of the spirit. Wherever you are, God is touching you. Peace, love, the wind yes yes the wind is blowing all your spirit is blowing everywhere hey the wind of the spirit is blowing to change your situations to change your situation. If you need a special prayer, just come for the sake of time. I won't manage to call. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It is well, ma. It is well. <laughs> just come if you need prayers. Just come if you need God to change three areas that I spoke about. The area of prayer. I can never stop talk about anything that God has not given me grace. I talk about finances because God has given me grace. I remember last month or that other month, the birthday of my dad, Bishop Billy Fula. God spoke to me to give a thousand and I didn't have anything. So I, I told God that you give seed to a sower. I want to honor my father, which was $100. So we went to church. I told my husband, ah, I want to give something. Immediately I was thinking about that. Somebody dropped money into my Mopesa. Yeah. Then I knew this money was not meant for me. It was meant for the altar. It had to die on the altar. Mama, it passed only two weeks later. There was something that I had been believing God for. It never happened. After 
I had to sow that seed. I received a hundred dollars, uh, one thousand dollars. Hundred million is how much in Zambia? Hundred million, hundred thousand kwacha is a yes. I received ten times more. That's where I even bought my car. Yeah, and the land, two lands. I wanted to buy a house. Do I buy a house or a land? So I can't talk about something that I've never experienced. I think the man of God I shared with you that I'm planning to buy a house. Yes. So I can't talk about something that I have no authority. If you are a sinner, you can't preach about righteousness. The Holy Spirit will say, no, 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 check your life. If I'm not a giver, I can't preach about giving. If I'm not a prayer warrior, I can't. If I'm not a skillful person, I can't preach. Because there's a conviction of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, move me now. Make my life whole again. Spirit move over me. Do you have the anointing oil? Forgive mama for the time today. We have overshoot the time. But I'm going back to Zambia. I pray that the anointing of God may touch you. Holy Spirit, if I touch your hands, you go and sit and believe God. Move me now, move me now. Make my life whole again. Spirit, move. Grace, grace, grace to be skillful. I pray for excellence, the spirit of excellence, the spirit of excellence. I'm feeling the anointing of excellence. Sometimes you feel like it is what I'm doing with. It's worth, it's worth excellence. Father, I pray for your woman servant. I pray for the anointing, the anointing. Touch her. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let the power of excellence in the name of Jesus come upon your life. In the name of Jesus. Favor. I see favor on your head. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. Power. 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 In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing healing rain falling over your life. Healing your heart. Healing rain is falling down. Healing rain is falling down. I'm not afraid. There's a woman that I prayed. I don't know if she's wearing gray or purple. Yes, the Lord says it is your season of remembrance. It is your season of remembrance. Kela Basia Badaha. Lord, you are a carrier of the movement of prayer, declares the Lord. Carry it! Carry it! God says, I've never forgotten every request that you have prayed. I'm the God that answers at the right time. You think it is delayed. It is not, saith the Lord. I'm God who appears at the right time. When appear, it shows, it's evident, he's about to appear in your life, in the name of Jesus. God is setting you apart, setting you apart for his work. Father, I pray for grace, grace, grace in prayer, grace in finances, grace in excellence. I'm seeing three anointings on you. You are a man of God. God is raising in Jesus' name. 
Look at me, oh Lord, and answer my prayers. Restore my strength. Don't let me down. Oh, look at me, oh Lord, and answer my prayers. Restore my strength. Permanence, permanent blessing, permanent blessing. Look at me, oh Lord, and answer my prayers. There's a deeper desire in your heart, says the Lord. And God is saying, I'm coming back to the heart of worship. And it's all about you. God has called you to worship him. He's calling you back. He's calling you back. It's a place where you belong. Don't delay yourself, says the Lord. Go back to the heart of worship that he may renew your strength. I pray for you. I pray for you. I pray for you for grace. I pray for you. Be blessed and grow up in favor and in the grace of God. Lord, we long for you to move in power. I'm seeing you walking in power. Walking in power. Invest more in prayer. God is favoring you in this season. I pray for you. Kadabasia la kadashalia. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, favor, favor over your life and your children. In the name of Jesus, pray for you. May the grace of the Lord Jesus be upon you. God has never forgotten about you. He will answer every prayer, declares him. Stay focused, stay focused. He's doing something new. I pray for you. May grace allocate you in Jesus' name. Grace over your life, Mama. Grace to become who God wants you to become. Favor. Favor. Favor upon you. You are the generation God wants to use as a leader. So soak yourself in the word of God. Soak yourself in the word of God. Yeah. The word will sustain you. Anointing over your life to do exploits for him. Anointing. 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 In the name of Jesus. Anointing to do exploits. <laughs> Take it. Grace and favor. Grace and favor. Bless you. Grace and favor. 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 In the name of Jesus. Grace and favor. Stay on the altar longer. God wants to speak to you. Power. Yes. Healer. Come. Deliverer. Come. I need. I need, I need your touch. So feel me, feel me, feel me, Lord. I long, I long, I long for you. Feel me now. He's pouring his spirit on you. 
is pouring his spirit on you. Shalaman de la Bassa, feel me now. Grace to become. Grace to become threefold anointing over your life in Jesus' mighty name. When peace like a river attended my way, God is meeting you on the way. He's meeting you on the word. He's coming down for you. He's coming down for you to settle every matter. Every matter. It is your season. Say, I am coming down for her. In the name of Jesus. Just lift your hands. There's power coming over you. before you 
I declare that each one that shall get and sow a seed Abba Father you alone shall begin to visit them in their homes in the name of Jesus last week when I was preaching somewhere I did the same I said those who want you know there's, there's an anointing that comes by extra giving extra sacrifice tell your neighbor extra that woman who built a house on a, up, a room up upstairs she did extra budget for the man of God I want you side change the next time that I come I found billionaires because, because you're doing extra for God extra so I want those that are saying I want to go extra miles for God for my breakthrough for my family I want to deposit in my spiritual account those that are saying I don't know your monies but I'll mention as, as grace is on me do we have something like 500,000 5,000. Do you have do you have something like 5,000 here? Do you? The way you're looking at me, do you have 5,000 here? Yes, I'm talking about big grace. I'm not talking about small, small grace. So I want those that are saying, I'll go extra mouse for God. As you lay your seed on the altar of 5,000, I want you to lift your hand. I pray for you. Anna Peter Anna Peter Anna Peter Yes Anna Anna Pita Oh Anna Pita Anna Pita Anna Pita Yes Yes Anna Pita Anna even to do warfare because the enemy fights your breakthrough so if you hear the word of God do it now when the spirit of God is moving your mind will say it's too much in fact I'm, I'm not yet paid or I'm about to get paid silence that voice of the enemy because you know you are sowing for your children's children and for your future I thought I would even have students that will say, I secure my job in advance. Me, there are times that I'm preaching and my son is not working. He will, he will stand and say, give me, but you, you pay. Because he wants to secure his future. Those who are saying, I only have a 3,000. You can come as well. I only count up, up to ten, then I'll pray for those. One. Two. Three. Four. As you are coming, come getting your blessing. Don't come as if you are worried. It's an opportunity. God bless you. Three thousand. Bless you. Three thousand. I should see people coming running because it's an opportunity to sow a seed in the house of God. It is an opportunity. One day you will remember. Me, I've remembered. I told you I received a hundred million in Kwacha because I sow. So the more you sow, the more you receive. The Bible says what you sow, you reap. God can never be mocked whatever you saw you reap. To 
2000, 2000, 2001, 2, 3, 4. One thing I know, the envelopes, I won't, I won't, I won't go back with them. Where did I reach? Two, one thousand. Jesus. Amen. 